like you to observe, Mr. Miller Gordon, out, out of his natural habitat. You will never see him up willingly at this time of the morning. It's dark outside still. <laughs> There is only one, oh my god, I do not look much better, to be honest. But there is not many things that could get Ali Gordon up at this time in the morning, other than it being new car day. So at nine o'clock today, we will be picking up our first new car. And our main new car, this is like, this is the dream right here. This is the one that we just still can't believe is happening. I don't think our parents can believe it's happening. We're just very, very excited for it. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and make, you know, just try and do something with all this. And I will hopefully see you when this is no more. But yeah, today's the day. So outfit of the day is just a load of black knitwear to keep me warm, a caramel and coat, black page denim jeans, and my Chloe boots that you can't really see, unfortunately. I'm obviously wearing my hair straight as well, and... I'm obviously wearing my driving gloves for the big occasion. Such a geek. <laughs> We've also got a little friend with us, AR. How long has it been? Two months. <laughs> Welcome back to the it's vlog. Good. It's good to be back. <laughs> and all of the girls in my comments are going to be like, oh, AR. <laughs> so, AR. Put Hello. the girl, put the girls out of their misery. Are you still single? No, I'm, I'm not. <gasps> I shouldn't, I shouldn't sound so disappointed about it. <laughs> You've got a girlfriend. I do. What's her name? She's, uh, she's called Alicia. Nice. She, she sounds delicious. She's yeah. across the um, <laughs> Atlantic, though. She's in America. Oh. Yeah. How, how did you meet her? We met on the gram. On the gram. Yeah, the same so way you we. two did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you use the same technique, like the iPod? I slid into her DMs. Oh. <laughs> Have you been to America to meet her? I haven't. No. Wait, so you've not met her? Oh, no, 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 sorry. She she used to live here. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah. Okay, uh, I was going to say, so, she's, wait, wait she's a minute. She's been kicked out after she finished her um, oh, cause of uni course. Brexit? No, 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 she just finished her. Oh, her visa. Program. Right, got so you. This is the moment of truth. Of truth? Where you find out what car it is that we're getting. Oh, okay. Here we go. William's running in now. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> ah, so excited. Whips everywhere. up this morning I looked outside my window where children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling it reminds me of the good times those winters we would spend just you and me it's been such a long time oh my god Christmas it's got Mr. and Mrs. on it as well Wow. Very nice. So we are having our reveal here in um, what seems to be where all of the kind of vintage cars have a little bit of a history of Aston Martin. Ali was just telling me, because he knows so much more than I do, that apparently this is pretty similar to the Aston Martin that my grandma had. He knows all of that stuff. My dad and him have talked Aston Martins, because my dad is a big Aston Martin fan as well. But that is apparently the one that my grandma had. And my dad had another one fairly similar as well. But under this thing here, this is our one. Uh, okay, yeah, right. let's, let's not do it. 
in terms of controls in yeah. the car, it's pretty simple because uh -huh. it's an automated system. So it's an automatic ZF gearbox, okay. eight speed. Your drive controls are down here. Yep. So drive neutral, reverse park. Yep. Okay. It's not day mode, it's not night mode. <laughs> not race mode. So my grandpa had a DB silver DB6, grandma had a blue DB6 okay. convertible. That's a silver DB AKG. All right. Yeah. The only touch buttons you've got in here are heated seats and uh, <laughs> ventilated seats as well. So ventilated is for the summer, yeah. heated is for the winter. Yeah. yeah. Use Generally. It as, use it as you wish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Unless you let one slip, then you might want to ventilate it. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so William is about to start up the engine. Listen to this. Oh my god, I feel like I'm like forgetting how to drive. I am so nervous! <laughs> 22 miles an hour. Whoa! <laughs> I am so nervous driving this car, it's unbelievable. You're doing well. Okay. Emergency <laughs> stop! Too fast, Lydia. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got AR in the car with me. And uh, we're taking this bad boy back home. Ali's letting me have the first drive. It's very kind of him. It's very, very kind of him, actually. I think he was nervous, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm definitely a better driver than Ali. I think I'm more nervous driving this than I was the Ferrari. Well, you own this car, don't you? Sir? I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only person who's going to bail me out of it is me. <laughs> We're steaming up. How do we unsteam? What do we do? Bollocks. Um. What have we got? A plethora of buttons. I don't, I don't think I've like truly experienced it yet because I'm obviously driving so slowly and so carefully. But at the same time, it's like, it just feels like I'm stuck to the road. It's amazing. My mini had that. <laughs> when my car You're does like, that. Oh yeah, my car does that. It's not when good. I stole it. <laughs> it feels effortless. It does, yeah, that's the dangerous thing. I had that with my Range Rover because my Range Rover was so quick, and yeah. I just never knew when I was going fast. Like yeah. I really had to get used to it because all of my other cars, it was like, ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Wonder what the top speed is. More than, you're, more than you ever need more to do. More than I will ever do, <laughs> yes. I just can't understand why I can't get it to go hot. I'm going to put my heated seat on. Does it feel like a supercar? Do you um, think? I, I just love this. This to me is like, it's almost like one of those cars that's like, if you know, you know. Yeah. You're kind of like, yeah, that's a good car. But it's not, you know, lime green and in your face, which I quite like. I do like it. I feel like I could go on, you know, like a long journey in this car and feel really comfortable. Whereas in something that's maybe more of like a car, you wouldn't be able to drive to Scotland in it and still feel comfortable. I just wish I knew how to make it hot. <laughs> 
I'm like turning this wheel, hoping for heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've got one of the vents just blowing right onto my knuckles <laughs> and it's freezing and I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs> I'm so jealous that you guys get to film in this all day. I would just love to go out and just drive it yeah. everywhere. I remember when I got my Mini and I bought it off of my sister-in-law and it was just like, oh, I never dreamed I'd ever have a Mini and so I would just drive it around and around and around. And Ali used to call me and be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just driving. He'd be like, we're just driving. Yeah, yeah, I'm just driving. Just driving my car. Beep, beep, toot, toot, toot. <laughs> so it was so weird, but I was just so excited by it. It was great. Cool story, bro. <laughs> First time I've ever had an automatic car. It was so funny when I bought my Range Rover, I was like, should I get an automatic or should I get a um, manual? And then I saw the price difference. So I was like, ooh, manual it is. <laughs> is it more expensive for an automatic? Oh, oh wow. I didn't yeah, know so much more expensive. And I literally was buying like the most bog standard Range Rover there was. But I was like, it's fine. I've never had an automatic anyway, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I think once you go automatic, it's hard to go back. Yeah. I begged my dad to let me do my driving test automatic. He was like, you'll regret it. Yeah. So I didn't do it. And I did it manual. And I'm glad I did because I haven't had an automatic car, so I would have been screwed. So there's no manual override in this? Does it have? Yes. So oh, it does. Do okay. the well, I don't know what this is called, but you can do the paddles. I think flappy I'll, paddles. Yeah, the flappy the paddles. Is technical term? Yeah. I'm, I think I'll just... Why would I want to go back to... Yeah. Manual, I'm good. <laughs> well, I think I have the record for the slowest driver of an Aston Martin in 2018. <laughs> I'd like to maintain my title. <laughs> you got it back in one piece. Yeah, that's the main thing. Just freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> that sound literally puts like a lump in the back of my throat. That I can't even make that. <laughs> How's it? <laughs> Lydia's going to cut from this block. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. Amazing. Uh, no, we're freezing in here though. I can't work out how to turn the heating on. Do I need, I need to turn it back on? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, it was freezing. Oh, you were warm. It says warm on your I side. Thought, I thought my side was warm. Ah. Oh my god. Ah, uh, there you go. I was literally like, I'm freezing. I was like, I'm sure it's warm. I was like, shut up, AR. <laughs> AR's on 28. Yeah. <laughs> I'm natural. sweating over here. <laughs> you know how to do your seat, heat seats, yeah? Yeah. Yes. So just got home. That was honestly like an absolute dream. I'm now making snacks for us. Before we head out again, I am going to be helping and assisting the boys for Ali's video for filming on that. So when you look at the footage, just know that I was an integral part of that video. I know you all think that Ali is the talented one, but personally, I think it's more me. But I'm making cheese and pickle wraps for me, AR and Ali, so yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 I got love in my tummy. I can't wait to hold you We'll be sitting by the fire And watch our favourite movies on TV Just got we back to the house, the boys are still out filming And I think I've come back to probably, oh, very dark The most amount of posts I think I've probably ever come back to There's like loads and loads of Christmas cards as well It looks like it's all P.O. Box stuff, which is so... Exciting, that looks like my grandma's handwriting. <laughs> lots and lots of PO box cards. So what I think I might do is open up the cards with you. I don't know what's in the packages and I can completely understand that probably people opening packages all the time is quite tedious. So I'll open the cards, we'll see how we get on and if there's anything interesting in the packages, I'll show you those as well. That looks like that's from the lady who did my stationery. Oh my gosh, so much 
Aha, these must be from our neighbours because there's no address on them. Yeah, so let's go through these cards and have a little read. There's literally so many, I love it. Now, the question is, can you see me if I put you there? I haven't even got my coat off yet. I haven't even made myself a cup of tea. Oh dear, what a morning that was. Very surreal, Ali is out filming some more bits for his video to go out on his channel about it, so him and AR are filming. I'm gonna get tonight's video ready and I'm gonna get ready to go out this evening for dinner with Ali's parents. This is like an annual thing that we do for their anniversary. Yeah, this is a card from my grandma, from Grandma and Laurie. Go on, oh, so cute little dogs in there. I think I just heard one of the fur babes come home as well. Five Dollar Shake is one of my favorite card brands as well. So whoever this has come from has fab taste. Ah, it's from one of our neighbors. Lovely, such a good card as well. And then this one looks more like a letter, which is usually, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> so maybe people don't know this about, I don't know if I told you, but our house isn't on like the main grid. So we actually have to take our water off of the local farm. And so we get a funny little paper bill like this um, once a month. So the guy who dropped off their card also dropped off our water bill. <laughs> How funny. I don't know who this is from. Oh, it's an anniversary card. Oh, it's from Ali's Nan and Gramps. Bless them, it's on our anniversary. I, do you know what? I get so excited about Christmas that I forget. I forget that it's our anniversary as well. Okay, this one's come from Belgium. Wow. I love getting cards from around the world. Honestly, it's so exciting. Oh. So this is from Jolene, and I met her at my Astrid and Mew meetup, and she's included a picture of us. We also um, managed to get her one of my Elizabeth Arden beauty bags as well, even though they were completely like gone. We managed to get one from Elizabeth Arden and send it over to her. So she sent me a little card to say thank you. That was not me picking my nose. I literally had the most itchy nose ever. That was like, <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, so this one is also to my PO box. I feel spoiled today. I love getting cards. Oh, wow. Oh, Lydia and Ali at the most wonderful time of the year. Happy first Christmas in your new home. This is from Shireen who did the stationery at my wedding. I honestly, like I just can't get over how talented that lady is. Like she just did the most beautiful stationery ever. I love it so much. I'll link her page down below if you're in need of any kind of stationery. I, would, I wish I could have her do my Christmas cards. Dear Lydia and Ali, wishing you a very happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. Loving Christmas with the MGs and looking forward to more great videos in 2019. You absolute legend, Shireen. Thank you. Oh, it's made my day. On your first anniversary. Oh my God. Literally, this is from my friend Danny. Okay, and I was like, do you know what? That handwriting looks like mine. It looks like a 10 year old has written it. And that's literally what my handwriting looks like. And it's from my friend Danny. And she's literally like, please don't look at my writing. I write like a 10 year old. I was like, I literally thought this was mine. <laughs> Even when Ali drops paint on the drive, here's to many more years. I'm just so happy I got to spend your happy day with you both. Best wishes, lots of love and hugs, Danny. Oh, I love you, Danny. My fave. Ooh, this one is from Ermington. Australia, wow, oh my God. Dear Lydia, Ali, Lumi and Lynx, sending you lots of well wishes this holiday season from down under Sydney, Australia. Although I've only discovered your YouTube and Instagram quite recently, I instantly fell in love with your authentic content, personality, classic style and simple elegance. Gonna give me a big head. It feels weird like reading that stuff about myself, but thank you, that's so nice. Kind regards from one Aussie Italian lady to you, Alana. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, I never want this to end. Where's this one from? Athens. Oh my God. Merry Christmas. Oh wow, it's a letter. To Lydia and Ali, may this festive season sparkle and shine. May all of your wishes and dreams come true and may you feel this happiness all year round. Merry Christmas from Alea. I'm not gonna read the letter because it's probably gonna be really long, but I'm gonna read it to myself, basically. But thank you so much for the Christmas card. 
and you have such nice handwriting. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so sad this is the last one. Ah, I knocked them all over. Oh. I'm literally so sad this is the last one. Where's this one from? I don't know where this one's from. Little Foxy. Oh, I can't, too Lydia. Oh my God, you know when someone has such nice handwriting that you can't read it? I don't know what, is it George? I think it says George. Happy New Year and thank you for all of the work and content you put out throughout the year and for letting us spend time with the fur babies. <laughs> oh, I love that. I think that's George. If that is, please let me know in the comments below, but love that. Right, I'm gonna open up my other post. And if there's anything exciting in there, I promise I'll tell you about it. It's so much fun. In fact, we're keeping them all at the moment because I know that Carrie and I want to start making like scrapbooks with things, but yeah. That's made my day. More than the car. <laughs> this is where he gets the name. Baby seal pup. Look at him, he's like, he's just huge. This is his favorite little spot down here, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Your seal puppy belly. Mommy's baby seal pup. What have you got in your eye? What have you got in your eye? Got eye boogers? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You like mummy's cushions? Mummy loves mummy's cushions. All right, all right, I leave you alone, I leave you alone. Go back to sleep. So, I'm now down in London with this one, and we are en route for dinner with the family. Oh my God, look at the Christmas lights, twinkling. Regent Street. That's amazing. Behind you as well. Are they? Oh, we can't see anything because of my big moon face. Wow. Amazing. Big moon face is back. Focus. Hi, welcome back. I've also just, well, basically last week I bought something and Ida, who I go and see at Dior on New Bond Street, basically was like, we can either post it to you or you can pick it up. If I post it to you, it won't be there until like blah, blah, blah. And we were going past anyway, so I picked it up. I actually didn't realize how big it is. It's actually huge. Oh dear. <laughs> And we're actually going to the Little Social, which is the tiniest restaurant ever. Yeah. Uh, that'll f that's like a table. I know, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I didn't realise it was this big. You know when you're going to show up and it's going to be like, I'm really sorry, I didn't realise it was this big. But I'm looking forward to some food. All I've had today is a wrap and four digestive biscuits. Basically my diet this Vlogmas has been digestive biscuits. It's a nice time of the year to do that. Though. Yeah, I agree. To be honest, I just do it every time of year. I'm not really picky. But yeah, we're on our way to meet the family and have some lovely food. Win. We have arrived. It looks so festive. Look, someone's left their sleigh outside. How cute. So we just arrived to the hotel. <laughs> what hotel? <laughs> it feels like a hotel because it's curtains. Just arrived to the restaurant. <laughs> the little social. We've got our own little private dining area. Loving this. It's a lovely little setup. <laughs> it's the first time we've been here before our family, but that's because we missed the first appointment, which was the Corinthia for drinks. So that wasn't our fault, though. No, nice space. Mm -hmm. 